probably a bad idea. This is definitely a bad idea. Eddie, help me. I can't move. Okay, cool. That gear wasn't there a second ago. Oh shit. Okay, Ed. Didn't see any of that happening, did I? <laughs> Why do I even try? I get a few lucky kills that, and I think I can go around with a knife. Stare at this fucking screen shake. I can't tell what's going on! I'm fucking black! I might as well be playing with my fucking eyes closed! Oh cool, I can't aim at this person. Why? I, this is legitimately the most bullshit thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I, I can't even... I, all this flashing lights and screen shake, I don't even know what's going on. I can't even kill one of these with, like, one of my vats, either. I can't move! Okay, and they can stagger me?! Do you not think it's a fucking nuff that I'm blind? This is an actual joke. I'm actually tempted to go on fucking... I, I mean, I should... Maybe I should just use drugs, but... No, for a fact, I'll probably get fucking addicted. Oh, don't, don't, do, don't do shit, that's what, that's the problem.
I, I'm actually tempted to fucking put God mode on. This is actually, this is fucked up. Like I can't, I, I can't survive anything. I've, I've got heavy armor. I think I've. Let's have a look. Fifteen. Well, it's on. It's on Eddie, and he's not gonna fucking give me that shit on a. F I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. I. Fucking open the pit, boy! I'm hitting the tab button like a fucking madman. It probably would help, wouldn't it? Can I please change ammo type now? No? My health is going down quicker than... God, why is it with, this di di with these, these Fallout DLCs and artificial difficulty? Like... It's a fucking... It's ridiculous. Every Fallout DLC that I've played is just... Hard for the it, it, it's like, yeah, let's just throw a load of it, near instant kill. Like, that screen shake was pretty much the the worst part about that. It's still going. Pit boy won't explode. Really? What a stupid fucking feature. Speakable. Unspeakable. Okay, I'll take that freebie. Disengage lock. <clears throat> I want an ammo bench, not a workbench. Oh, 
Oh, I can't wait. I guess the only... I guess the best tactic for that is to do so much damage in one hit and up to fuck that you, uh... Hope to, f hope to fuck that you, uh... Can kill them before they heal. There we go, critical hits. Alright, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, I do appreciate uh, someone to chat to. Access Commissioner. Oh, it's just the same fucking thing as before. At least he's got 100 repair. Subjected. No, but converted. No, dedicated. No, I got got worse each time. US Army combat armor. This kind of makes food redundant, this MRE shit, doesn't it?
Well, there's so much for sneak attacks, right? Let's try that again. of auto injects in this uh, DLC it's like the game is telling people that they exist in case they haven't crafted them before Sneak vision is fucking annoying. I had nothing to do with this. You delivered a package. Had markings that matched those in the divide. Not all. But enough. Military markings. From some place the bear had savaged in the west. Maybe seeing those markings on it reminded you of home. Made you carry it. You said I brought it from the west? It was a device. A detonator. One I'd never seen before, or heard before. You carried that thing to the divide. I know, because I followed you as you walked the road, watched you do it. You brought it here, to the community you built. And you are responsible for what happened after, when the device opened, started to speak. When it did, the divide answered back. Those missiles you've seen buried in their silos. They exploded beneath the ground, cracked the landscape. Sand, ash, the dead. The divide skies became a graveyard. If you saw this happen, then how did you survive? Should have died there. But now that I know you live, the machines here saved me. I was the only survivor, or thought I was. Your package, the message inside, awoke medical machines, close to the one that shadows you, began to build themselves, then others. They only take what parts they find in the divide, never roam beyond it. Can't even leave the silos without a human to shadow, like hounds. 
of America. If so, history saved me. A sign. This is revenge for nearly killing you then. Not the name I'd give it. Not the name the dead would give it. Soldiers of the bear died here. Legion died too. My brothers still dying. Both of them all around us. None of the people that lived here survived. Yet all of the West and the East, they hold on as the divide tears at them. Revenge isn't the message I have for you. More than that, courier. Why would I have brought it here? I've walked the east. You've walked the west more than I have. Circle Junction, Reno, Vault City, word of you at Fort Aradesh, Fort Abandon, even further west than that. Brahmin drives on the big circle. Whatever you saw out there wasn't enough to make you stay. Maybe the markings on the package reminded you of the road home. This package, you said it had markings. Machinery. Simple on the outside. Computer parts. Inside. More complicated. It was the only time I heard a machine speak in the divide. The only machine with a voice. I'm not responsible for this. There's no way I could have known. If you had been there when it happened, if you had seen the divide break, you would know it. You carry death wherever you go. If the Mojave doesn't know it yet, it will. What happened here can happen again. You already proved it. What you did in Ashton, the <laughs> file there. I had no idea the silo was active until the missile was in the air toward Hopeville. Didn't stop you though. Like carrying the chip to Vegas. Old world death in your hand. Pieces of the old world like that just need someone careless enough to take them where they need to go to do their killing. I'm not to blame for Ashton, the chip, or the divide. All these roads that you walked, these packages that you carried, think it wasn't your choice? Of course, it was your choice. You could have stayed in the Mojave, but you chose to come, couldn't let be, not in you to let go. Came for no other reason than you were curious, restless, always have been. Had to know the why of it. The why of it? You're the one who needs to answer that. Why are you doing this? Want to hear the answer of it. Not just history's answer. Your answer for what happened here. What happened here was an accident. Any anger you have, let it go. Accident? Ignorance is a choice. The chip, a choice. As for anger, it is what I carry for the dead, and all that come here. The dead? You mean the Republic troops who were here? The soldiers of the bear. They were dead already. Their symbol, diseased. Deserved to die as my brothers did at Boulder City. Mines. Bombs. I carry nothing for them. Their deaths here were a mercy compared to the ones that still walk the divide. If you're Legion, are you angry because I destroyed the divide supply line instead of you? The supply line? The artery for the West? I have seen the blood of 
NCR at Legion Ends many times. I carry no hatred for duty, if that's what this was. The divide was more than that. It's people more than that. You think I'm responsible for this? My question is, what your tie is to this place? The community that was once here, and the package you brought, both had markings of the divide, markings of America. You've seen the marks, the symbol, as early as the Hopeville silo, maybe. Carried it etched on your weapons. The divide. Its buildings, its people, were built around those same markings, surrounded them here. Markings like the flag on my back when I followed a Euro road to the divide those years ago. I saw the symbol I wore all around me. An old world symbol, strong to survive here, its people strong. Outlast the bear, outlast the bull. Promise of something better. Kaiser was right to want it dead. NCR was right to want to rake their claws in it. Seeing it changed me. Just as seeing Hoover Dam changed Kaiser and the NCR. Seeing it end changed me too. All things come to an end if you put faith in something outside yourself, tough. There was hope here, another chance, a new nation, stirring to life, a place I could have set my flag. Not the America of old, but something larger than the tribes of the East, something larger than the houses of the West, something better. A divide could have bridged both like Hoover Dam. Now, like the dam, it's too covered in blood to see what it could have been. You gave life to this place. I followed a your road here, saw the divide. You led me here so that I could see. Then you brought it to an end. And that's why you want me dead. My history isn't revenge or hate. The road that brought us both here isn't about that. It's about the message you carried. The one in that package, whether you knew it or not. The message that one can kill a nation, can kill a symbol, and all that gather beneath its flag. I don't blame you for the divide. I blame you for what you made me see. Now you will see what you brought to the Mojave, and that will be my message to you. You want me to come to the divide? I'm here. What now? Your roads are not done. I haven't walked it full yet. Not nearly enough. The way ahead and below leads to the heart of the divide. And there, you and I, we'll have an ending to things. This canyon is miles long, maybe longer. Where can I find you? At the end of the divide, through the trenches and wreckage. That's where you'll find me. A new home, here. Amongst dead men, you and that machine. Keep your eyes on the tower that cuts the horizon. You'll find your way. Made it this far. Not much farther to go. Okay, fucking hell, my eyes.
Oh wow, the breathing mask takes away everything. Fucking that conversation went on forever. Forever. Hmm. 